Hi everyone, this is this is mining and I just wanted to share with you my first mining build and some of the problems that I had setting it up so that those of you who are looking to get into mining um, might learn from some of my mistakes, some of my frustrations. So let me just start off. This was a originally I had four well right now these are five GeForce GTX 1080 Ti's all running off of one motherboard with Windows operating system. Right now I'm using nice, nice hash. I wasn't using it when I started, but maybe in another video I can talk about why I switched to nice, to nice hash. But with these, some of the issues that I ran into was, so I am using an ASRock H110 Pro BTC Plus motherboard. As you can see, I'm using riser extensions. So when I was setting this this up, I had first of all I had no problem setting up the motherboard. I had no graphics cards hooked up to it. Got Simple Mining OS installed. I have a Corsair H1200i, which I thought was going to be able to run the four GTX 1080 Ti's. And what happens what what happened was I installed the first riser and the first G, um, 1080 GTI started mining just fine. So I installed the second one, no issues there. So then what I did was I installed the third and the fourth one and that's when the system wouldn't wouldn't post at all. So what I actually found out what the problem was was twofold. Number one, this full um, PCI slot when I had one of these GTX, when I had one of these risers plugged into it, it just it just wouldn't post. So I figured that out, and then I used the other extenders in the non-full slot, and it booted up. Then the problem became because I had four GTX 1080 Ti's running on just one power supply, the OS my uh, simple mining would would start up. And then about 10 seconds after it got warmed up, it would just immediately shut down. And there was two problems with that. Number one, the board wasn't getting enough power. I actually didn't plug in these, these four pin connectors to the board, as you can see. So in order for you to get enough juice to your actual motherboard, you need to plug these in, which building gaming PCs, I had no experience doing. So as you can see, here's one of them. It's a split cable and then this plugs into this other one here which is which is providing enough power for the board to actually work. Then what became the issue was so this power supply the 1200 watt was not powerful enough to run four of these GTX 1080 Ti's. So I took an old power supply I had as you can see this Seasonic Platinum from 2014 and it has 660 watts and I was able to run the fourth GTX 1080 off of that with no stability problems whatsoever. As you can see what I did here in order to get the two power supplies to work you have the power supply plugged into the motherboard and then you're using this splitter here to connect the two power supplies. So this is the the primary one is the Corsair 1200 Secondary is the Seasonic Platinum, and they're plugged in using this adapter, which was like $18. And that got everything working, except the system isn't stable with the 660 watts. So what will happen is I'll be mining for maybe 24 hours, and then this will shut off. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to install a brand new Corsair H1200, uh, and then that should solve the stability problems. What I'd ultimately like to do with this rig is I'd like to have two additional GTX 1080s set up a small mounting um, spot here, running along, running along here, and also here. So one GTX 1080 Ti, another one over here, and that would make a seven GTX 1080 board. And I believe that the these two 1200 um, Corsairs should be able to power that no problem. 
I did make the switch to to Windows. So I wanted to have some access to um, to overclock and do some things with the graphics cards. So I meant buying a SSD card. I did get Windows for I think it was Windows Pro for twenty dollars for twenty four dollars. So that was good. And as you can see here with the with the nice hash right now it's it's um, farming equi hash uh, total speed 3.9 kilohashes per second and it's paying from nice hash seventeen dollars and thirty nine dollars um, a day and that's not too bad at all that's a little bit more than three dollars per card it goes up and down sometimes it goes as low as maybe um, maybe fourteen dollars and fifty cents but that's very rare and it's gone as high as like, Yesterday it was, it was actually mining um, at about $23. It did that for about two hours. So in between, I like to be conservative. Think that you have these three GTX 1080 Ti's mining and you'll probably earn about $3 per card. So that's it. I'll show you guys what it looks like with the second Corsair 10 1200i installed. Thanks for watching.